Hey guys, even here, so Puerto Rico Open Division just started pre-judging is a wrap and this is your top 3 as expected. So from the left we have Mohamed Shaban, Hassan Mustafa and Akim Williams. Akim Williams being 6th Mr. Olympia is the favorite to win this show, however here he is not in the middle. What does that mean? Does that mean that Hassan is winning here? We'll check out all these photos and we're gonna see what is actually happening. So first of all, this one from Double Bicep. In this one, I have uh, Mohamed Jaban winning. I think his front double bicep looks better than the other two guys, especially because of the midsection. Also, the quads are looking absolutely ridiculous. He got more conditioned and it's just making him look more impressive. Hassan, did he bring better conditioning? It looks like he did. It looks like he sharpened up. You're gonna see what he looks like from behind in a moment, but right here he does look a little bit sharper. Akim did bring a decent level of conditioning. Not exactly Mr. Olympia level, but it was close to it. It was better than I expected, honestly. And um, do I have him winning it? I'm gonna tell you in the end. So let's go with the next pose. Front lat spread and here I have Akim looking the most impressive, especially because of the legs, the details in it. And then I would have Shaban, Mohamed Shaban and then Hassan in third in this pose, even though he's in the middle. Side chest pose. So if you're talking upper body, Mohamed Shaban looks the most impressive in the upper body, but Akim's side leg is just basically unbeatable. It's really rare to see somebody has this strong side leg. I mean, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads just looks ridiculous. And also his upper body, I mean, uh, the, the chest, the delts, he just looks really good in this one. So Akim wins this one easily. And the way Hassan is hitting it with his body tilted backwards, it just looks awkward. It, it makes him look small, not impressive. He's definitely not, not winning this one. There are no striations in the glutes here and the uh, hamstrings are looking soft as well. So this one I would go definitely with Akim and then with Muhammad Shaban and Hassan last again. Alright, now we have back double bicep and they switch them around. They put Akim in the middle now. I'm gonna show you a little video after this, after these photos because the video is not that high quality. You're gonna see how the judges move them around. But now let's focus on this back double bicep. Who looks the best here? If you talk about the back itself, maybe Hassan, really. He has a good back. Yeah, not super wide in the shoulders, but he has a pretty well developed back. And uh, as far as glutes, that, that's definitely Akim first, Mohammed second, and, um, and Hassan last. Even though Hassan's glutes and hamstrings don't really look that bad. So in this pose, you could even give it to Hassan, really. But it's a little bit weird angle. He's the most distant one from the camera. And there is a reason for him covering his almost his entire glutes so with his trunks, unlike, Hass unlike Akim sorry, and Mohammed. The reason is because his glutes are not really in. You're gonna see that in individual photos. But as far as this back double bicep, who wins it? It's very close, but because of the, the tightness in the glutes and overall conditioning, I think I would go with Akim, but Hassan looks really good. So it's hard to make a decision. So we're gonna move on to the back lat spread. Again, if you talk about the back itself, the quality of the back, Hassan is the best here. But if you talk about the glutes and the conditioning overall, Hassan is probably last, but his conditioning doesn't look bad, doesn't look that bad. It looks fine, it looks pretty good, I mean it looks much better than the last time you saw him. So in the back lat spread, you could choose conditioning or details or the, the quality, I mean the, the development of the back. So again, it's a toss up, you tell me who do you have here. So we have one side tricep and two front tricep poses. And the only guy here doing an actual side tricep is Akim. Mohammed is not doing side tricep. This is just, I don't know, something like uh, abs and thighs with his arms behind his back. It's, it's not side tricep. And Hassan is pretty much doing the same thing. He's flexing his chest and showing his chest and also his, uh, his uh, quads. Maybe it's, a, it's one of the photos that I know Hassan does this transition that Flex Wheeler taught him that looks really good. But apparently the photographer caught this angle, so we have what he have. But I, I'm sure it was different in the person, so I can't really judge this pose because it's not really side tricep. But if I had to, I would say Akim, of course. In this pose, Akim looks like a dominant, dominant winner. Abs and ties. I guess Hassan looks the most uh, impressive here because he has a solid uh, eight pack, yeah, and his quads are just ridiculous. But then again, uh, Akim has more polish, his quads are looking drier, but his midsection is not exactly very symmetrical and aesthetic. 
and when he puts his arms behind his head, he just looks a little bit awkward, he can't really relax his lats, uh, and so, yeah, it's a weird pose for him. Mohamed Shaban is also struggling here and not really showing a lot of detail in the quads, so this pose is between Makim and Hassan, probably Hassan looks the best in this one. But Hassan has no V taper, I mean the size of his waist is basically the same size as his shoulders, the, the, the lat area, so there is no V taper, nothing is popping really, and Akim does have smaller waist, so it does look better on Akim. Be the judge, you tell me who looks better, it's, it's very close this show, it looks very close. After I show you individual photos though, it's not gonna be that close, I think. So in the most muscular right here, ah, it's very close again. So Akim is doing crab pose, not looking very good. I mean, he's pushing his head forward, it makes his entire body look smaller. And Hassan is doing it nicely, he looks very impressive in this one. Muhammad Shaban as well. So again, it's, it's very close. I mean, the details and, and the dryness of Akim's quads is giving him an edge and also overall conditioning. He seems to have brought the best conditioning here. Even though you could say he is a little bit off compared to last year, he is still better than these two guys as far as conditioning and details. So I do think it's pretty safe to say that he is winning Puerto Rico Pro and qualifying for the Mr. Olympia. Did he win most muscular right here? Well, with this crab pose that photographer caught, not really. He probably looks the worst here, but when he does the regular, uh, regular most muscular, I'm sure he looks much better than here. And I think he, he is definitely the best bodybuilder here, the best conditioning and overall the most complete package. So let's go a few poses back. Hassan was in the middle right here. And that certainly made a lot of people think that he is winning this show. Does that really mean that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think what's happening here is the judges are actually removing Akim from the consideration for the second or third spot. They are putting him on the side as a clear winner. And now they're trying to decide who's going to be second. Hassan or Mohamed Shaban. Me personally, I have Mohamed Shaban. Why? Because in these photos it's not really that clear. In these photos that I showed you, it could be Hassan as well. Let me show you why. There you go. I think it's pretty clear. He did not sharpen up the glutes and the hamstrings. Not enough, not enough. He did come a little bit sharper, but not sharper enough. Look at the glutes and the hamstrings. And now you might be thinking it's, it could be the lighting, it could be an angle or whatever. But no, let me show you Akeem's glutes. You see the difference? It's very noticeable. Not only the glutes, but the hamstrings as well. And that's not only something you can see through the photos or videos, but that is something that you can see from the judges row for sure. And when, when you have these photos like this, you can see more clearly what is going on. So Akim brought much better conditioning and with everything else he has, he can win this show. Now let's check out Mohamed Shaban. Same thing, also much sharper, much more defined glutes. And that means he did his homework, he came ready for the show. Hassan did not come ready and that's why they're not gonna give it to him, he's gonna be third here. He was able to beat a lot of other guys and place third, yeah, but when you, when you, when you face these kind of muscular freaks, it's gonna be about who is more prepared, who is more conditioned. And both Mohamed Shaban and Akim Williams came in better conditioning and I think that's why they're gonna place higher than Hassan. I don't know what's Hassan's problem with conditioning, but I gotta say Mohamed Shaban is improving. From show to show he is getting better. Akim, I don't know, he brought good conditioning, but it's probably not him at his best. Is he gonna win this show? In about 4-5 or five hours we're gonna find out, if I'm not mistaken, if I didn't calculate wrong again. But I think, uh, yeah, he's gonna win this show. So here is a little footage, a little video. So again, you can see Hassan in the middle. And does that again mean that he is winning, that he is ahead? No, I think they just decided that the winner is Akim. And they're just comparing Hassan and, and Mohammed. And I think even though Hassan has great, great structure, he's a great bodybuilder, without coming really conditioned like the other guys, he cannot beat somebody like Mohamed Shaban who is also very much blessed with a genetic shape, proportions, uh, symmetry, and also with a lot of muscle, a lot of dense muscle. Uh, the only thing is uh, Hassan is not as conditioned. You can see his glutes here, they're, they're jiggling. So yeah, that tells you how, how ready he is. I don't know why is that, but it is what it is. Maybe he'll figure it out someday. 
As for now, this is it. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe for finals. I'm gonna show you who won the show as soon as the show is done. So again, subscribe, like the video. Thank you for watching. All the best and bye-bye.